all about? Well, in keeping with the Olympic Games, this project was designed especially for brass bands for the 212 Cultural Olympiads. Just as the Olympic torch started its journey in this country yesterday, Brass the Baton has also started out on their journey, and I use the word their deliberately. Similar to the Olympic logo of five interlinked rings of different colours, there are five batons. Green, yellow, blue, black and red. And all this is to put breast bands on the map, let breast bands enjoy themselves in a slightly different way, keeping in mind the Olympic Games that are coming up. So it's the breast band's contribution to get involved with the Olympics. Each of the particip participating bands had been allocated a colour and will receive the baton in order of performance and then pass the baton on to the next band. And it's not just Merseyside, it is the whole of the country. There are quite a lot of bands taking part. I think at the last count there were 150 bands and various ensembles taking part. And it is estimated, and please don't challenge me on the maths. It's not my maths, it's what's recorded on the website. We're thinking there will be an estimated 7,000 musicians involved in this project. That's when it started a week fortnight ago until the middle of the July. How are we going to do this? A piece of music was specially commissioned for the occasion. And this piece of music will be played by all bands. Paul Lovett Cooper, who is a tremendous composer, is actually a percussionist playing with the Black Dyke Band. And I think you'll realise he's a percussionist when you hear the piece. He composed Going the Distance. Now it gets complicated. There are five arrangements. Five, one for each colour. And these five arrangements are subdivided into at least three other arrangements. Are you still with me? <laughs> yeah. Three other arrangements ranging from difficult to easy. Thus, musical capability is not really a factor. And almost any band in this country can take part. Any one arrangement can be played as a single performance. But the very, very clever part, and it must have taken some effort to, to put pen to paper with this, is that all arrangements, that all of them, all the five colours, all the simple ones to the hardest ones, can be played simultaneously by a mass band. Indeed, it's no accident, it was planned this way for the final event, which is going to take place on July the 22nd in Durham, where well, they're hoping there'll be at least 2,000 performers taking part. Our performance today, we were se selected for the red pattern. I didn't know why, I thought it might be because of our red uniform, but then I noted that the band who was getting the pattern off of us are in blue, so it's nothing to do with your uniform. Our secretary went to Chester on last Monday to meet uh, with a secretary, conductor, or whatever, a representative of the Cross Silver Band from Leicester, who gave their performance with the Red Baton last weekend. Today, we will introduce this event by playing the march, aptly entitled Shout the Victory. And during this playing, some of the children of some of our band members will assemble at the rear and they will slowly come forward, bringing with them the red baton to pass on to me to conduct the red version of Going the Distance. Please enjoy this performance and unique experience of being involved with the UK Brass Band's contribution to London 2000. And 12. Thank you very much.